John, an absolutely beautiful 67 Dodge Dart GT convertible. This is a gorgeous car. Thank you. Fabulous work. You know, and the funny thing about this body is this thing almost doesn't look, certainly from the side, it doesn't really look Mopar. It looks like it looks like a Nova on steroids or something. It's, it's, it's a little bit, but you stop and think. They had a couple of years to copy GM. <laughs> well, they did. Because they, uh, the Nova came out earlier. But it kind of does. I mean, it's got that straight, clean side, yep. but still, you know, decidedly Mopar in every other way. Incredible car, and you really had to do some work on this baby. It was it was a basket case, right? It was a real basket case. When I first got it, all the floors had been replaced. I handmade part of it. The rear quarters, uh, inner front fenders, the front fenders, that's all been replaced. Rotisserie, you did the whole I thing? did it all on the rotisserie, did it. All the sheet metal and welding and stuff, I did all at home in my own garage. How long? You, wow. Roughly four years. At, and at, at, in your own garage at home? Yeah, did it at home in my Just garage. Just working away. Just, yeah, I didn't work on it winter because there's no heat out there. <laughs> and it gets cold up it here. It gets cold up yeah, here. It does. But man, she's beautiful. I, I, I love the car in general, but man, this interior too really, really pops. The red and white, I mean, that's always, that's a good It's a good combo, color. You know? it's, it's a good combination. But these have obviously been redone and they almost look they got, like they got some pearl in them or something because they really glisten. They're a legendary interior kit and they advertise it as pearl white. Oh, okay. Well, so and so, yes. My yeah. eyes don't deceive me. They don't deceive you. Because <laughs> it just seems almost, you know, it just it seems yeah, abnormally it bright. Yeah. yeah, and that's, I think that's what makes it. Oh, it does, man. And, you know, the sun comes out and it's like, yowza. Uh-huh. And, you know, you, you went with a updated steering updated wheel. Updated steering wheel. But you kept all your gauges and your dash 67 Dart. Yes. Uh, they were all sent out and restored. Uh, you mentioned the steering wheel. It actually matches the wheels. Indeed it does. <laughs> and then I actually had an air cleaner cut to match it. <laughs> you don't screw around, so. do you? <laughs> well, one of the things I'm amazed at is, because again, it's just this big, long, straight car. It is, and it's incredibly straight. The paint on it's fabulous, and it'll show up every defect. Uh -huh. This baby's straight. How'd you do that? Well, they spent about 40 hours block sanding on it, and it got really, really wavy. Yeah. And so we took aluminum bar stock, glued it and taped it to the side of the car, and then sanded to that. When that side was straight, moved it up, and then block sanded to that one, and then moved it to the next oh portion, God. and did that one. How many hours? And so there's roughly 100 and 110 <laughs> hours of some, somewhere, it's over 100 hours of oh, block sanding. Wow, well it, it shows, it looks fabulous. So, and I love that, you know, the back plate here, which is, you know, it's a pretty complex piece, and, I, mm -hmm. and nobody's reproducing those. No. Is that an NOS piece? No, it's not. Uh, I found it through eBay, and then we stripped it, had it replated, pinstripe taped all the chrome, yeah. and then painted the in-between bars and the, the argent, and then took the tape back off it. <laughs> Holy mackerel. And I can't tell you how many hours it was. <laughs> Too many. A lot. But a lot of, you know, a lot of nice little curves and, and detailed contours and stuff in this car. Beautiful. And I know you were telling me you got a, you know, four-link uh, rear end, four link rear back yeah. here, and, you, and so you've completely updated this thing. But the real trick is under the hood. Let's go look at that monster. All right. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this probably would have come with maybe a 318 on a good day. 273, 273 originally. originally. And what am I looking at now? 5.7 Hemi. Wow. Uh, it's a crate motor. It was a debate whether to rebuild the original engine and, and build it to a performance standard. Yeah. And we talked about it. My brother and I kicked around a lot of issues with the car when we built it. And I said, you know what? Let's just, just do it. Do it. I mean, it's a 5.7 Hemi. It's a five-speed stick in it. Tremec? Tremec. So do you have suspension to match all that too? The suspension is from a company called Riley Motorsports. It's, and it's a cradle. All the suspension pieces bolt to it. The motor bolts to it. The, the rear axle is the same. You set a four link, yeah. it all bolts in in place of the springs. So did you keep all the and original stuff? I have all the original at home, Good and roughly 48 hours I could put the original drivetrain back in as complete. Oh, well, I can't believe how well this Hemi fits. It's, it's, just, it's just, yeah, it sets right in there. They and, did a real good job on engineering. And with that suspension set up, and, uh, and that motor, this has got to be a blast. This thing handles like a go-kart. It really does. I mean, I say that, but it's flat, it's stable. Uh, it's a real joy to drive. Well, I, you know, and I've been watching it, looking all day, and, and people just, they're just drawn to this car. 
Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's a color combination, but it's that, and you just don't see no, very six, many convertibles. Six, seven convertible cars. No, beautiful car, John. You do beautiful work. Thank you. You got to take me running this, baby. You got <laughs> 67 it. 67 dark. <laughs> I love it.